The scriptures tell us that on the night before Jesus was to be crucified, he took his closest three friends, Peter, James, John, deep into the Garden of Gethsemane. He looked into their eyes, and rather than veiling his pain, you know, burying his anguish, or pretending that all in his world was fine, he said to them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Such honesty from our Messiah. My soul is crushed with grief. He was saying, this pain I'm experiencing right now just might be too much. Can you imagine these words spoken by Christ? Fully God, yes, but also fully man. With such a devastating task before him, life hanging in the balance, such a tremendous weight that was his alone to bear. He did that thing that for so many decades I couldn't do. He invited his trusted friends into his pain. Be with me. Here in my suffering, he was saying, don't let me bear this pain alone. Keep watch with me until the agony passes. Please stay close. I wonder, can you relate to Jesus' desire not to walk his road of suffering alone? Do you get that his, his need even to have someone standing in the middle of his mess with him, to know that someone saw his pain? I've always been challenged by the exhortation of James 5.16, which says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Invite someone else in. Don't go alone. We're not made to do this journey on our own. The last part of that verse is beautiful. Even to a lifelong stuffer such as me, confess your sins to each other, pray for each other so that you may be healed. 